Good day everyone. Uh, so the Topo 100 km ultra marathon race is done and dusted. Managed to complete that race in 16 hours and 18 minutes. Uh, super stoked with that effort. Um, like I mentioned in my last update, I had the flu and now that is worse. Um, it plagued me throughout parts of the day and really um, sort of held me back. I was missing a gear and so I had to find a balance in between uh, not wanting to cough up my lungs but also being able to perform so that I could, um, you know, get to the finish line in a reasonable time. Um, I had expected to finish the race in 14 hours um, but, you know, my pace started to slow down towards the end of the day and so ended up um, finishing in 16 hours, 18 minutes, but um, we got the job done. And um, so I want to thank all of you. Uh, there are 46 generous donors who donated $2,620 uh, to the Missing Wingman Trust fundraiser. Um, these funds will go a long way to supporting Air Force Farnos in their time of need. Um, you know, uh, the job that we do in the military is dangerous, you know. And you can mitigate the risk only so much. And, um, you know, people that continue to serve our country will, you know, inevitably die. And so the funds that you have donated will go a long way to helping those whanos uh, on the worst day of their life. And so thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support, uh, for your love, um, and uh, for your generosity, really. Could not have done this without you. Um, knowing that um, you've all donated was fuel to me. There was no way I was not going to finish that race. And uh, it just really kept me going throughout. Um, it was a humbling experience for sure. All the training leading up to this, putting myself out there and saying, hey, this is me, this is who I am. Um, I'm going to, with your help, raise money um, for a great cause. And, um, you know, it all worked in the end. And really just want to thank you. Um, it's been an awesome experience. I've learned so much about myself and what I'm capable of. Um, so many valuable lessons that I can um, teach my children um, to show them about, um, you know, if you put in enough effort action with persistent um, effort over time, you can be and achieve whatever you want. And I truly believe that. Um, the stories I have learned uh, throughout this experience will help me uh, raise my children and um, teach them how to be more empathetic and more resilient members of society. So hopefully they can add value to this world. Um, you know, the, there were so many layers to this um, experience and um, yeah, it's just been truly amazing. So I want to thank you all. Um, once again and um, yeah I didn't hit the wall like I thought I would have so really that to me means that there's more in the tank and that I can go further and so what does that look like um, pending the support of my wife um, that might look like the toe port correction the Tarawera ultra marathon um, the 100 mile race which is 162 kilometers in February next year uh, so what that means is if I do get the green light, then I would practically have to start training within the next couple weeks. A uh, hundred miles is no mean feat. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of effort and there's going to be a team of people that I'll need to assist me to get through that experience. And so um, that may just be my next milestone. Um, but yeah, like I said, what a journey it has been and thank you for sticking with me and for helping us raise some amazing funds uh, for some really important people. Uh, please stay safe out there and um, happy trails. Thank you.